Welcome to Maze Lead Code Challenge. Today's question, majority element. Given an array size n, find the majority element. The majority element is the element that appears more than n divided by 2 times. Okay, so this is a, another pretty standard question that you might see in a phone screening. Uh, they give us an assumption. You may assume that the array is not empty. Good, and the majority element always exists in the array. So say that we have an array of 3, 2, 3. We want to return 3 since that appears twice and 2 appears once. Here it's going to be 2 since 2 appears 4 times out of 7. Um, so with that assumption, knowing that a majority always exists and that majority is always going to appear more than n divided by 2 times, this is a pretty simple question. So first I'm going to import the counter object from the collections library. And that's going to make it very easy for me to just create a dictionary that contains the numbers as keys and the number of times they appear in the list. So we can just do it like that. Now we need to get the count, right? The majority count. And that is simply going to be the length of nums uh, divided by 2. Let's round it down. And basically all we need to do is iterate through this counter dictionary and find the first key that has a value greater than this majority count. So let's say we're going to iterate our key values in uh, counter.items if the value is greater than the majority count then return k. And just in case, we'll return a none if uh, it doesn't find anything. And that should be it. Now let's take it a look. 323, three. yep. And let's submit it. Accepted. So great. Simple enough, but let's throw away curveball here. Let's say that uh, there is no guarantee that the majority count is going to be greater than n divided by 2. Let's just say, for example, that there is a majority for sure, but uh, we don't know if that number is going to be greater than n divided by 2. So even with that assumption, it's a pretty easy process. All we would do is store the max counts of the values going down the key in the counter. And then we'll just return the key that contained the, the maximum value, right? So let's just say we have something like max count. Now let's store our output here and we'll make that a zero. So we'll do the same thing. We'll iterate through the dictionary. But this time we'll say if the V is greater than max count. Let's set max count to equal that value. And let's store the key as the output. And once we iterate through, we're going to return the output. And that should work as well. Um, just a little bit of a curveball there. So that's it. Simple enough.